Hi guys, it's Patrick Star. I'm finally back. I really do, do, do apologize for missing in action, but I have been so busy. Um, since my last YouTube video, I got the chance to go to Miami um, Mercedes Benz Fashion Week swim uh, under the direction of Victor Amos. Hi Victor! I got to um, go and go backstage with Dolores Cortez and that was such a blast. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do freelance with MAC Cosmetics. So I've been freelancing a lot. We had the Indulge event last week. Amazing turnout. There will be another event coming in October. And I am based in Orlando, Florida, so if you see me, don't be afraid to say hi. I keep getting comments that y'all are afraid to say hi or um, whatnot, but I'm really nice. And um, also, I have been going to Miami, um, testing with the amazing um, photographer, Joey Wright. Hey, Joey. Um, but yeah, I've been testing with him, doing hair and makeup, and it's been such a blast traveling from Orlando to Miami, and also freelancing with Mac, and outside, and I've been so busy, and then I'm, today I finally got the chance to do a YouTube video. So this is my next look after um, this gothic land that you, you guys are going to see next. But, um, also, I have been FaceTiming some of my followers. Oh, this phone case is by Karma's Bling. Check her out. She sent this to me. Amazing, amazing, amazing phone case. It's fabulous. And FaceTiming. FaceTiming, you guys, is, has been so, um, awesome because I get to connect with you because you guys right now are just watching me and just commenting and liking and disliking for those of you haters. Um. And also Instagram, I just read comments, but to connect with you guys on a personal level by FaceTime and really meeting my audience, it's so amazing. So catch it on Instagram. Um, I post it every once in a while that I have my makeup on. But with that being said, enough talking, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey guys, it's Patrick Starr. So the first thing I'm going to do is my contacts, pop them in, green, fabulous. Next I'm going to put in my primer, Natural Radiance by MAC, create a flawless canvas for my Studio Fix foundation, liquid foundation. I'm stippling it on, we're going for that full goth glamour. And with that we're going to use some white clown makeup, yep, white clown makeup. It's smudge proof, so I have to work fast. I wanted that ghostly highlight under my eyes to brighten it up. You can always go for your um, highlighting concealer. And I'm going to set that with my airspun powder. I love this powder. It's dusty. Next, I'm going to take my Studio Finish Concealer Palette in the color NC15. It's not white, but it's pretty light. And I'm popping that under the brow to create that um, highlight glow. And I'm just gonna buff it in with a 217 brush and blend away. I'm gonna take these colors Feline and these two eyeshadows, um, Cork and Soft Brown. And I'm just gonna blend away using the same brush. As you can see, I started with the lightest color, the concealer, and then I'm just gonna buff in those two colors. So in reality, to create that smoky eye effect, you wanna start with those light colors. Next, I'm gonna apply Feline, and I'm doing all of this blending and applying with my eyes open, because most people that apply makeup, boys, girls, men, women, they tend to do it with their eyes closed, and you can't really see the end result, because I noticed with my Filipino eyes, by closing my eyes, I can't really see the shape. So just by checking and looking in the mirror, with your eyes open, you can kind of see the shape that you're wanting to achieve. Next, I'm gonna take a blending brush with nothing on it and just buff, buff, buff right where the 
pencil meets the eyeshadow. And you can see already by laying down those colors prior to the pencil, it's already creating that gradient effect, which I wanted. So just buffing away, not any higher, not any lower, just where the pencil meets the shadow. And this is what you want to get, is just blend away. You don't want to start with a dark color and just blend it because it's going to become a whole mess. And then it's easier to add than remove. I'm going to take this Pandora Duo by NARS. It's my most favorite black. And I'm just going to pat it in with a 239. Pat, pat, pat. And then I'm going to apply Airspun under the eye. And then I'm just going to pat, pat, pat. The reason why I applied Airspun was because I don't want to catch any fallout onto my beautiful canvas that I created. So, hence the, the extra Airspun. It's not for any cosmetic um, purpose. Simply just to catch the black fallout since I'm going for a really heavy black eye. This tutorial is really similar to kind of like my smoky eye tutorial. Just not using any warm red colors like deep tans and for transition but I want to keep everything cool and really really gothic but still glamorous all at the same time seal the five dollars it's similar to jet couture a pressed pigment these make the eyes glow and this is what I think makes the gothic glamorous so I'm simply patting it in and the difference between the pressed pigment by Mac is that um, I feel that the MAC one is a chunkier, but it's more glittery, and this one is more fine, so each their own. I'm going to take this 3D, not the 3D, the ex In Extreme Dimension Mascara. They came out with a new one, 3D Black, recently, and coat your mascara and apply your lashes if you dare. Bottom ones are obviously not required, but, you know... I'm going to pick up the kids from the park today, so um, as the top ones are drying because I put so, so much glue, I'm going to do my nose and then apply the lashes. The trick to putting giant lashes on is stacking them, like if you're a beginner, and then letting them get tacky and dry. Next I'm going to contour my face with NW50. It's a little bit more cool, but it's not blunt like a blush with more red. It's straight up NW. Next, I'm going to take more Pixie Dust, which is Naked Pigment by MAC, and pat that under the eyes and swoop down the nose and redefine my inner nose contour since I've highlighted. Next, I'm going to create these Chola lips using the feline pencil from earlier that I used on my eyes. And out and you're done yes just kidding I'm gonna take my designer purple pencil um it's an amazing eye pencil but I'm using it on the lips today there are no rules to make up and just smack it on and then gloss it up with your favorite dazzle glass and there you have it, this gothic glamorous look I love 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 doing this tutorial for you guys and I hope you guys take it on and try it at home and tag me on Instagram and please rate, comment, and subscribe.